It's good to be with you on this Wednesday, and we're going right through this week here. And this summertime, again, I want to encourage you, is a great opportunity for ministry, especially if you're in a cold weather area like we are. Summer is just a treasure of opportunity to talk to people, be out and about, and be ready to give the gospel. We're excited because uh, this week we started a major challenge for our church as many of our folks are committed to going out in these weeks to reach people with the gospel. And I believe God's going to work and he's also going to encourage all of those that are involved. Today I'd like to encourage us in the matter of the situation that we see politically. We see it not only in America, but we see it, frankly, all around the world. I'm amazed at how many countries, both in the Western world, but also even in the Eastern world and other different cultures, these governments are going in an anti-God, anti-biblical way. And certainly we do see the uh, beginnings of what the Bible talks about in the last times, but we're right now living in the church age. We don't know when Jesus is going to come. And so instead of just thinking, well, this is inevitable, the rapture is going to occur right away, we just need to hold on to the end, we need to realize that God has continued to thwart Satan's efforts to bring about uh, the, his desire to have someone rule in his place uh, the world and to go against God. God has just thwarted that over and over. I think Satan has had several antichrists that he tried to develop, and God has said no. Why? Because he's long-suffering and doesn't want anyone to perish. And in Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1, we read there, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. And so as we're thinking about the situation, it seems like we're just marching right toward the end. And of course we are. At some point, Jesus is going to come. But he wants every people group to be reached. He wants to see the church go forward mightily. And here we see that God can change political situations. I've seen it in my lifetime. I thought for sure we were doomed, and then some positive events occurred. God can turn the worst situations over and, and stop them and let something else happen. God can even change things worldwide if he wants to. God is ultimately the sovereign God. He's in control. He allows Satan to work. But Satan cannot thwart the will of God when it comes to reaching this world until Jesus says, it's time for me to come. And so, since the, we haven't heard the trumpet yet, we've got to pray that God will work in our government, God will work in other governments, and that all of this insidious working toward a humanistic solution to mankind's problems would be pushed back for a time being for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the honor of God. And we can trust God. And so let's be very careful that we're not passive, but let's stay encouraged. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. God can change things on a dime. And we've got to believe that. And so let's be men and women of prayer to follow 1 Timothy chapter 2, to pray for those that are in authority. Let's believe God to work and let's stay on mission. And I'm telling you, you're in, you can't help but be encouraged when you know God's on the throne and that he is allowing things to happen and that he is burdened to see the great commission fulfilled. May God enable us to have that kind of heart.